How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to download music onto your Kindle Fire HD. Um, what you're going to do is go to music right here and you want to go to store because right now this screen right here is going to show you what's on your device and cloud real fast will show you anything you've purchased uh, via Amazon's uh, music store. So either anything you've uh, purchased or anything that you've uploaded to Amazon's cloud uh, player. Basically, the cloud player lets you upload your music to Amazon's online service and then it'll sync it onto here. So these are just songs that I've either downloaded or I've um, bought through Amazon before. Okay. Um, all right, that. So when you go right to music, you want to go to store because that takes you where you can actually see music and purchase music now, there's a couple ways you can look for music so just to show you at first on the first page it will show you like different deals five dollar deals for this week five dollar albums new releases recommendations and i believe yeah this doesn't swipe left or right uh but you can tap see all to see more new releases you can see recommendations depending on the kind of music you listen to it'll kind of make recommendations for you but let's say you know the song that you want. You can either search by the artist or by the song or by the album. So the song I want is by Lecrae. So I'm going to type in Lecrae and then I'm going to hit return. And that's going to search it for me. And what it'll do is it'll pull up his albums. Okay. And so like if you just wanted to buy the whole CD, you would tap the price and then tap it again. And that would initiate the purchase. Or maybe you just want a song off that CD. You can find the CD in the list here. And, you know, usually they'll throw in some other uh, artists. It won't always just be that artist, but uh, artists that are similar. Now, the song I want is off of the CD, Gravity. So I'm going to tap Gravity right here. And now it shows the CD. And then it shows all the different tracks on that CD. Now, here's the cool... The cool part is you can actually sample each song. You get to listen to 30 seconds of each one to, to say, hey, do I want this one or do I not want this one? So the one I want is Gravity, and I'm going to play a little preview. It's a play right there. So this is cool because, like, I had never heard the CD before, but I liked the artist. So I went through and listened to every song, and that's kind of how I was able to decide, okay, oh, you know, do I like any songs with this CD? Do I even like the CD? You may you may sample each song and say, oh, this CD is amazing. I want the whole thing. Or you may say, oh, I like this song the best. I want this song. So anyway, I decided I want to get this song. So I'm going to tap over here on the orange button that has the price. It shows 99 cents. So I'm going to tap it. And then it's going to say buy. You're going to tap buy. And now it's going to process your purchase. And purchase complete. And now it's saving it to the cloud player. So now it says go to your library to play or download the music. So we're going to go to library and download says, would you like to automatically download this in future Amazon MP3 purchases from the cloud player to your device? So what this is saying is that anytime you buy a song, you're giving your Kindle the permission to automatically download to the Kindle. It won't automatically do that for you unless you say yes. So I'm going to check. Don't ask me again. And I want to say yes. And so now what it's going to do, it's going to automatically download this song right to my Kindle. So I don't have to worry about in the future buying something but not being sure if it's going to download onto my Kindle. Okay? So that's just a pretty cool thing right there. Um, and, you know, you might be a big downloader. You may not download a lot. Now, uh, I have a, another video that's going to be going up soon that's going to show you how to check your available storage. So maybe if you've downloaded a lot and you want to see how much space you have left, definitely check out that video because that will help you, um, you know, make sure that um, you have enough room or you're not filling it up. Maybe you want to save room for some other stuff, you know, uh, books or magazines or newspaper or videos or uh, whatever. All right, so this is really, this is it in terms of downloading. It's just that simple. And, um... What else do I want to show you? Uh, while this is downloading, we can go back to music here. And again, know the difference between cloud and device. Again, cloud is anything that you've uploaded to Amazon's cloud player. And I have another video coming up soon that's going to explain what the cloud player is and how you upload your music. But for now, the 
the basics you need to know about it is anything you buy, any songs you buy through Amazon's music um, service will always be in the cloud. And if you want it to be on your device, then you'll have to go to device. Or actually, device will show you what's already on there. You will go to cloud. Like, for example, let's say I want to take a song that's in the cloud and I want to move it to my Kindle. Um, for example, this is a song that's in the cloud. I would have to hold down on the song until this option comes up. It says, add to playlist, shop this artist, or download song. Which one do you think we would do? Exactly. We would download song. So now, it's downloading this song to my Kindle. So the whole point of downloading is when you don't have the internet, that's when you'll be able to listen to that song. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And again, I have a lot more songs here that are in the cloud that are not on my Kindle. And so, um, you know, for that reason, I would want to download it. Because um, if I don't, then when I don't have the internet, then I won't be able to listen to it. So definitely recommend you downloading it. Uh, looks like I had a little error here. I think my internet might have just been a little slow, so I just have to hit retry. And something's playing right here. We won't worry about that. So if you do get those little red dots, it just means that there was an error. And it might have to do with the speed of your internet. Again, the room I'm in, the internet is kind of far away. So we're just maybe having a little bit of trouble downloading it because the speed is so slow. But um, anyway, this has been downloading music to your Kindle Fire uh, HD. And I hope you found this helpful. Go ahead and subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. Keep watching. If you found this helpful, go ahead and like the video for me. And have a good one.